The Lebanese army is taking no chances with the crisis in Syria, leaving various Lebanese factions ready to fight each other, decisive action is being taken to stop any civil unrest. Lebanese security forces are determined to arrest gunmen and restore order across the country. The army says it will not allow sectarian tensions to reach unprecedented levels and is currently deploying in areas where sectarian friction is already high. Just like this one, the Shatila roundabout in Beirut is right in the middle of three neighborhoods, Christian, Sunni and Shiite. This area has been shaken by gun battles and sniper fire in the last 48 hours. But the army in Lebanon doesn't operate without a mandate from the government. And in this case, Prime Minister Najib Miqati's government, which the opposition wants to oust, is looking to protect itself. If things will deteriorate through clashes, uh, I think that the army uh, and uh, will, will do his job and will stop it with no doubt. There are those who warn against instructing the army to crush Lebanon's mainly Sunni opposition. The army is not prepared and should not be to protect any government, okay, but to protect the nation, the country. Because if the army will fight the population with one side against another side or in Lebanon, it's very dangerous and the army at that time will be divided. Life has not been normal at all in Lebanon since the assassination of top security official Wissam al-Hassan last Friday. What is usually a bustling street suffocated by traffic all day, Al-Hamra is calm during rush hour on Monday. People are simply afraid and are staying away from the streets. Every day, by uh, every hour, every second, everything's getting uh, worse. But I believe that there's nothing we can do. Um, nothing's going to change. I'm not giving up, but uh, this is reality. It's a time of uncertainty in Lebanon. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. But what's for certain is that most people here hope nothing will spark another civil war. Nisreen Shamayli Al Jazeera, Beirut.